Hi winners, welcome back to paper analysis of general surgery and I'll be giving few more suggestions and feedbacks which you need to implement for the next subject. So going into this question paper, this question paper is for 512 marks and this question paper is a combination of the questions of both NEAT and AIMS pattern. Because your regular NEAT pattern will have only one mode of question that is select the best option among the four. Whereas your AIMS, as already discussed, we have different patterns. As we have included few AIMS pattern questions, the question for each, the, the score for each question is going to bit vary. So with that, the scoring was 512. Okay, we have few matchings. Each matching, each, each matching is going to carry four marks in my scoring system okay so that's the reason why for 120 marks we got 512 marks this was posted as doubt by many students and i feel like this is not area to be focused unnecessarily uh, i feel like we are wasting time on such unwanted things we should be focused more on the subject and the concepts rather than uh, unnecessary things this is this has very less weightage in the exam okay scoring systems understanding the scoring systems and everything is waste of time according to me okay let it be so with some key corrections and some errors or any any xyz i i concluded the score as 496 so how much you score for 496 is a question so the professor analysis for this particular paper is easy questions were somewhere around 65 easy questions means questions which were exposed to you either in the daily exams either in the pdfs what we have shared on the groups or either from the basic mcq books what you are being learning or being exposing or either from the uh, from the videos what we have uh, what we have posted on the website or either from the classes either from the classes or either from the discussions either from the textbook reading they are direct questions direct direct means it's just very sweet to identify the right option among the four. Such questions are somewhere around 65. The next one, the easy questions. So easy questions require a little bit application. You have already read them, you're done with them, but you need a little more application of presence of mind, a little more application is required for the medium-based questions. The next comes is the most difficult part that is the difficulty questions means with the knowledge with the presence of mind now you need to apply some elimination based concepts or some extra knowledge from your basics or from other subjects you have to apply some logics to come out with the right answer for difficulty questions so such questions were somewhere around 12 in this particular exam the last but not the least is unknown questions means unknown questions you are not you are completely unknown of the particular concept or particular area for example a question on a tumor of head and neck which you have not covered either in your mcq books or either in the discussions or either anywhere such questions were somewhere around nine and of course there is one error question so totally you you can consider that unknown questions as 10 in number so what professor analysis says is it's very simple that you have to show a minimum accuracy of 95% for easy questions. So easy questions, you have to show 95% accuracy. Means, means you have to hit minimum 60 right answers out of 65 in this paper for easy questions. So your score will be 240. Right? 240. Of course, you will get minus 5 negative marking with this because you lose five questions and and i'm giving this five questions as a human error your human error will will spoil some questions you know but you spoil okay i'll i'll, I'll give you some techniques to decrease the human error also the second one are medium based questions okay means you need to apply some power right your your knowledge presence of mind something so in this you need to maintain an accuracy of at least 75 percent is a minimum accuracy of 75 percent is required so you have to score minimum 25 right answers out of 33 
a minimum of 75 to 80 percentage of accuracy is really required for a medium based questions because these are the questions which has good chance of deciding your rank so your score will be 100 for this of course you will get minus 8 marks okay the next one is difficulty questions okay so in difficulty questions i feel like 60 percentage of accuracy should be maintained 60 percent is at least like you need to go with 60 percent of accuracy at least you need to make seven to eight questions right out of 12. so seven fours is 28 and you'll go with minus five score again here next one is unknown questions even for unknown questions the main reason is I'm just pointing you to give full attempt, right? So main reason, even for unknown questions, you have to maintain and you have to come out with an accuracy of at least 40 or 50 percent of accuracy should be maintained. Means you need to hit at least like out of these 10, you need to hit minimum four answers. So totally four, two, four, three, uh, 16 marks and you'll get minus six score. So this is what the analysis of the professor says so your score on an aggregate it's going to be 340 plus 40 so it is 380 okay i think it's 384 if i'm not wrong yes 384 so your rough analysis is 384 out of 384 24 are wrong 24 are negative marking so 360 i feel it's not cut off mark it's not cut off mark but i feel like 360 is a minimum score that every student who were part of mds conquer doing all the task working vigorously from the last 10 days with general surgery concepts videos daily exams doubts X, Y, Z, we have done lots of work. So this is a minimum score that you should attend. You should attend to be in the competition. 360 is, is, is the cutoff according to me. Okay. So the competition zone will move around 360. Means it will be 380 to 340 or 330 will be the competition for most of the people but if you cross 360 i feel like you will be in the safe safest part uh, uh, particularly to this uh, to this examination but if you are at high end that is uh, the, my range is 380 to 340 if you are at this end anything about 380 in this paper they have high chances of getting or being selected for government dental college 360 is good but 380 plus or anything above 380 or 380 is a safe zone to be in gdc's okay so anything below 300 i want you guys to think over where you're going wrong where you are bad at because you need to identify this because this question paper i can 100 percent is analysis is it's not tough it's not too easy it's not tough it is a good range it is good range but you need to maintain a minimum score of 300 for this paper according to me if you're not up to this level if you have uh, the reason like i'm not i have not done this completely i have not read this properly i was i have started the preparation in the middle acceptable but if you are there from day one and if you are reading without wasting a single day in this last 10 days for general surgery and if your score is below 300 or below 280 you need to think over you need to come out immediately with a solution if not i feel like you're not up to the mark in giving exam working is different getting scores in the exam is is the most important thing rather than working okay so guys you need to think about this so next comes is some some positive things and some feedbacks some some questions posted by the students and the solution for them so whatever it may be like whether it's good or bad first always first take good leave the bad leave the bad from everything always take good so always take positive feedbacks into consideration which are really required for you to be more confident in the preparation 
So advantage of attempting all the questions. Okay, so already, sorry, this is already discussed uh, with you. So now we are in the practice section. Okay, so now we are in the practice area. For example, if you think this practice section as a net practice, like you are practicing, uh, there is a final match and you are practicing every day uh, in your grounds and everything. For example, if it is a cricket. So in net practice, we don't leave balls. We don't leave, we don't leave anything. We play, we learn. We learn from net practice. So in final exam, you have to judge what to be left and what to be taken. So if you start applying that negative marking concept and leaving questions, your brain will be, your brain become numb day by day. Okay, so if a new question comes, your brain will not work. So it is mandatory and I, it's a request, personal request from my side that all students of MDS Conquer should attempt all questions until you reach the mock exams. Mock exams, I let you know like what to be uh, questions which has, which you have to left or what you have to leave. Like we'll have a special class on that and we will start applying the negative marking concept before we take or before we start the mock exams in the last phase that will be in the November. For now, I request everyone to apply your, your logic or your common sense, your presence of mind in attempting all the questions. So this is practice session. You need to attempt all, use your brain, exercise your brain, force your brain, that make sure your brain should come out with the right answer for every known, unknown or difficult question. And second one, most of the students uh, in the last uh, one or two days were more worried about their drift in the rank. Ranks will always be dynamic. Because every month, the new students are going to come. They're going to read vigorously in the first few days, right? So every year, the comp every every month or every day in MDS Conquer, the competition will be drifted. Similarly, you can compare this through all through all the people who are preparing in the need uh, in, in, throughout the country, right? So the competition will be dynamic. You cannot be in the same situation. Like you may read well this this week or you may spend more time well in this week. But maybe your competitor is reading more vigorously, double than you, triple than you, giving 300, 400 percentage of time of them. Apart from the regular competitors who read more, you don't know about the regular competitors who read more. There'll be new competitors that are adding to your schedule every day, every week, every month. So all these all are going to increase your uh, increase the competition levels and make your rank dynamic. Maybe you may get 10th ten, rank or 11th rank in the last weekend, but you may be drifted to 40 or 50 this weekend because the competitors are doing more valid, valid work. The, the, the new competitors were added. So the new com competitors were not done with the previous subject, guys. They're not done with the previous subject, but they're done with the present subject perfect, better than you. It doesn't make... It doesn't mean that your rank is, is going to be 60 or 70 always. It will be dynamic. It may move further. Like when you move to the mock exams, it may move further, better. So don't consider your dynamic rank ranks. Okay. So dynamic ranks depends upon different factors, which we cannot judge. And next one. And th this is what I'm stressing. I'm talking about, okay. Uh, things will be different for different people at different situations. Uh, giving exam on, 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 on a single subject is easy. Giving exam on four subjects is going to be difficult. Giving exam on 25 subjects like final exam is going to be more difficult. Okay, so this has to be taken into consideration. You should not be uh, too overconfident. Like I have seen people who are being overconfident getting good scores in one exam. It should be maintained for the next exam. It should be maintained for group of exams. It should be maintained in the mock exams and final exams so that continuity should be required so if you feel you are confident enough to handle the things okay you need to think about this this is a single exam can you do the same performance in multiple exams then you can do the same performance in the mock exams a question don't compare with your friends okay because none of the seats will be shared okay no sharing business uh, in the need okay so your friend will have his life or her life and you will have your life. So don't ever compare your lives or your mode of preparation or your scores with your friends. That is the main reason why we don't post uh, the scores on the group. Okay, you once you're done with the exam, you will get your rank. 
you will get your analysis in the website the website is made in such a way so that's the reason why i don't compare your scores with your friends okay so don't ever do that and don't compare your performance of this subject to other subject okay how well you are in general surgery first round how well you are in general surgery second round can be compared how well you are in the previous subject which may be easy or difficult so few subjects will be easy for few individuals will be difficult for few individuals okay so i don't want you to compare any subject scores with this sir last week i got this score this week i got this score no how can you compare last week it is a different subject this week is a different subject next week is going to be a different subject okay so don't ever do that it always says revision is always key for scoring if your scorings if you feel your scorings are bad the first etiology can be revision so first question if your scores are not up to mark question yourself that whether your revision is proper or not whether you have completed the syllabus first round followed by you have done proper revision for the second round or not before you take the examination 90% of the cases will fall in these two cases are you done with the syllabus or not no okay are you done with the syllabus or not yes have you done with revision or not s yes. no so most of the people who are not up to the mark will be uh, will be in these two questions like not done with the syllabus not done with the proper revision so if you're done with the syllabus and if you're done with the proper revision it is very easy for this particular uh, question paper to cross that 300 score so always says okay winning is the only option left for us congress try to be as confident as you can because being positive is the most greatest thing that anyone can do in their preparation phase because i have been talking with so 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 many people because i spend most of my time in talking to the people and just analyzing their mindsets this is what i regularly do in my last 5 to 6 years so i feel like more than 70 to 80 percent of the people are not positive lack of positivity lack of confidence they don't trust themselves okay so if you start implementing this first trust yourself you are the boss of your life you are the king of your life you are the hero of your film okay so if you trust yourself then you will be turning to an individual with lots of confidence trusting yourself being bold you will get the confidence once you are confident everything whether it is a negative or positive you will take into positive consideration so if you do this it's very easy to survive in this competitive world exam is different right i'm not bothered about exam exam anyway you will be successful because you are working too good and too better so to be uh, successful in the life uh, uh, the must required thing is confidence and positivity and of course trust on yourself signing off for now team mds conquer all the best guys for the next subject